If your cleaning products stop working, it's probably not the cleaners, it's the actual chemistry behind it. Here's what's happening. Reason number one, using the wrong type of cleaner. Acidic cleaners dissolve mineral buildup, hard water stains, and soap scum. They work really well on things like shower glass, faucets, and sinks that get coated in minerals over time because they break that buildup down and clear the surface. Degreasers, on the other hand, break down oils, baked on food, and anything sticky or greasy. They're designed to melt their buildup in kitchens, like oven doors, stovetops, and greasy cabinets. So the key is matching the cleaner to the type of buildup you're trying to remove. Reason number two, Two, not giving the product time to work. Spray and wipe doesn't let the cleaner break anything down. Most products need at least 60 seconds of contact time. Cleaners need time to break the bond between the soil and the surface. Wiping too soon cuts that process short. Reason number three, using hot water with powder cleaners. Hot water makes powders set too fast and leaves that chalky haze. Cold water keeps the product moving and rinsing clean. Cold water gives you more control because the product activates slower and rinses away cleaner. Reason number four, layering too many products back to back. If you use one cleaner and then immediately apply a different one on top, they can interfere with each other or leave residue. A quick rinse between products helps each one work the way it should. And reason number five, using way too much product. More does not mean better. It means sticky residue that grabs dirt. That's why surfaces look dirty again right after cleaning. Once you understand the chemistry, what to use, how to use it, and what slows products down, you'll get better results with every cleaner in your home. And there you go.